regardless of age, it appears that at, uh, cycling athletes, so people who beyond recreation, you know, mm. we're, we're, it's our main sport, it's what yep. we do. Bone mineral density in the cycling population is far lower than the average of the, uh, the normal population and, and lower than sedentary individuals, meaning people who don't do any exercise at all. What? Yeah, it's concerning. <laughs> and, it's, and, I, and I'll give you guys a, a, I'm gonna be careful here how I say this. So before we get back to Aaron's story, who by the way, is a PhD in sports performance and has worked exclusively with the Continental Cycling Team for over half a decade, meaning he knows what he's talking about and he's constantly referencing the science. We'll link to all those papers below, but let's just sit back and absorb what Aaron is saying. You are better off being a sedentary individual. In other words, sitting on the couch watching Netflix than you are being a road cyclist, assuming you're not incorporating cross-training activities such as gym and load-bearing activities with your cycling. That is a fair elephant in the room for a bunch of people that are riding on the road. Let's get back to Aaron. I had three athletes visit Rep country representatives, they stayed on the Sunshine Coast uh, several years ago, did some training with them. They're working with a sports dietitian and the sports dietitian emailed me and said, hey, we need to have a chat. Something's going on here. Got a phone consult. And she said, I've just done some bone scans with these lads. Wow. And they were late teens, early 20s. She said, they are more than one stand deviation away below the population average for bone mineral density, and this, is, this means bad, your bones are weak, and one of them is clinically classed as having osteopenia. Wow. Which is what happens, your bones are getting to the point where you're almost at osteoporosis. Now, I don't want to scare anyone, but I wasn't surprised because the research in bone mineral density in cycling athletes highlights that they're all below population average. They're all on their way to having issues what's with the, bone health. What's the reasoning, like without going down too much of a rabbit hole? Yes, look, I've got my own theory, and it's, and it's all theories at is the it? moment. Is it? Okay, right. So my theory is pro probably twofold. Um, there's no eccentric loading in cycling athletes, particularly road cycling athletes, meaning like the muscle does not contract under stretch like it would in like, um, what's an example, like a jumping landing sport or a running sport yeah. or gym training. Um, so that could possibly be a factor because it's changing the type of loading that's going through uh, the bones. Yeah. The... Other one, and probably the more probable one, is cycling is very low impact because yeah. your body weight is being held up uh, by the saddle, yeah, yeah. as you're pedaling. So this is not just about us older boys. Teenagers and 20-year-olds are also not immune to poor bone mineral density if they are not supporting their cycling with something like strength training. So what can we do about it as a road cycling community? Lift some weight and move it around, yeah? yeah? Now, if you're going, no, Aaron, but I, I'll do that, but I'm also a master's athlete and I take my bike seriously and I want a performance benefit out of it, yeah. then you can do the same performance recommendations that I recommend for anyone approaching that, which would mean you need to be lifting at an intensity equal to 80% of one repetition maximum yeah. or an eight out of 10 difficulty. You do not need to take your sets to failure. At least two lower body exercises I would recommend and you yeah. want to accumulate across those lower body exercises that you're gonna do in the gym a minimum of 16 to 30 repetitions. Yeah. Meaning, if you do three sets of five on the squat, you've accumulated 15 repetitions there. Yeah. Cool. The minimum effective dose we need is 16 to 30 repetitions in your workout for the lower body. Yeah. So treat it like money and yeah. you're spending it and like that's the minimum dose we want. Yeah. You can go above that, but that's the range that the research suggests is beneficial for increasing strength. And if we get that strength increase, even in our master's athletes, we can expect still in the ballpark of that 5% improvement on aerobic and sprint performance uh, metrics on the okay. bike. So those performance gains Aaron was discussing were recently reconfirmed in this systematic review with meta-analysis on strength training for cyclists. This paper was released in July 2025 and after reviewing 17 controlled studies across 260 participants, both men and women in the road cycling space, this paper confirmed significant improvements in cycling efficiency anaerobic power and cycling performance, notably around that time trial FTP pace. So if you're not willing to lean into strength training when it comes to this elephant in the room being bone density, do it at least for performance gain. So really adding strength training to your weekly regime is a no brainer. 
How do you do it? Well, Aaron said, just start by moving stuff around. I remember purchasing this 16 kilogram kettlebell during COVID when I couldn't get to the gym, and that's exactly what I was doing. I was moving it around. If you wanna go a level beyond that, I'll link a video up there, and if you wanna go even further beyond that, Aaron has put together something called the weight training package for us here and our members at the RCA, which is designed to boost FTP, anaerobic power, and cycling efficiency on top of bone density. What you'll get, lifetime access to all three programs put together by Aaron from beginner to intermediate to an advanced level with five supporting video tutorials and 60 exercise demonstrations. We're about to put the price up on this package to where it belongs, 147 USD. So for a limited time, you can still get it for the 75, which is available on our website until November 1st. Link below, and if you got value from this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It helps the channel out. We'll catch you in the next video.